Many seniors take amlodipine every day and trust it to keep their blood pressure under control. But here's the overlooked danger most people never hear about. Even one glass of wine or a small nightcap can quietly undo that protection, raising blood pressure, making side effects worse, and reducing how well the medicine works. This isn't rare. Studies show alcohol alone can raise systolic pressure by four to seven points, and when combined with amlodipine, the impact can be much stronger, leading to unstable readings and added strain on the heart. In this video, we'll break down six specific ways alcohol affects blood pressure in seniors. You'll see how it interacts with your medicine, why it disturbs sleep, how it changes fluid balance, and the rebound effect most people never expect. By the end, you'll not only understand the hidden risks, but also learn the simple steps that can help protect your heart, brain, and kidneys. Before we continue, one important reminder. This video is for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice. Never change your medication or treatment plan without first speaking to your doctor. Let's begin with the first effect, stimulation of the stress response. At first, a drink may feel calming, but inside the body, alcohol does the opposite. It triggers the sympathetic nervous system, the same system that reacts to stress. That activation releases adrenaline and cortisol. These hormones make arteries tighten, and as the vessels constrict, blood pressure climbs. In younger people, flexible arteries may absorb some of the change, but in seniors, the vessels are already less elastic. Add amlodipine into the picture, a drug designed to relax arteries, and you have a direct conflict. Alcohol is pushing the arteries to constrict, while amlodipine is trying to relax them. The result is unstable blood pressure. Readings may look normal one day and higher the next, even when you take your medicine on schedule. Research shows systolic pressure can rise four to seven points after just one or two drinks. And The Lancet reports that even a five-point increase raises stroke risk by about 20%. Here's why this matters for patients on amlodipine. The drug works steadily over 24 hours, but alcohol's surge of stress hormones can break through that protection. Some seniors notice dizziness, headaches, or swelling the next morning, all signs that the balance has been disrupted. The practical step is simple. If you take amlodipine, limit alcohol to no more than one drink per day and avoid drinking close to bedtime. Spacing it out allows the medicine to work without competing against alcohol's stress effect. The bottom line is this. Alcohol's stress response undermines amlodipine's benefits, leaving blood pressure less stable and risks higher for seniors. Now let's look at another pathway, one that doesn't show up immediately but builds quietly over time. Hidden calories leading to weight gain. Effect number two, hidden calories and weight gain. Many seniors think of alcohol as just a drink, but each glass carries more calories than most people realize. Alcohol contains about seven calories per gram, merely as much as fat, but with no nutritional benefit. Those empty calories add up quickly. A nightly glass of wine or a few beers each week can gradually push body weight higher. And excess body weight is one of the strongest risk factors for high blood pressure. Here's why. Extra pounds increase the workload on the heart. They also change hormones that control vascular tone. Abdominal fat in particular drives systolic and diastolic pressure higher. Research shows a clear dose-response relationship. The more alcohol consumed, the greater the risk of long-term weight gain. This effect is even stronger in older adults because metabolism slows with age. The same amount of alcohol that once had little effect now makes weight gain more likely. And there's more. 
weight gain worsens insulin resistance. It activates the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. That combination increases vascular resistance and fluid retention, both of which push blood pressure higher. For seniors taking amlodipine, this creates a double challenge. The drug lowers blood pressure, but alcohol-driven weight gain works against it, making control less consistent over time. Guidelines from the National Institutes of Health and the American Heart Association emphasize weight management as a cornerstone of blood pressure control. Limiting alcohol is one of the simplest ways to avoid unnecessary calories and support stable numbers. In short, alcohol's hidden calories make weight gain easier with age, and that extra weight steadily drove blood pressure higher, even in patients taking amlodipine. Effect number three, alcohol with salty snacks. Alcohol rarely comes alone. For many seniors, it's paired with chips, salted nuts, processed meats, or pickled appetizers, and these foods are loaded with sodium. Too much sodium forces the body to hold on to fluid. That extra fluid increases the volume of blood in the vessels, and as volume rises, so does blood pressure. According to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, high sodium intake is one of the leading dietary drivers of hypertension worldwide. When combined with alcohol, the effect becomes stronger. That's because alcohol alters kidney function, making it harder to get rid of excess salt. This is especially concerning in older adults. As kidneys age, they naturally become less efficient. So fluid retention happens more easily. The result is greater strain on the heart and arteries, with higher systolic and diastolic readings. For patients on amlodipine, the risk doubles. The drug helps relax arteries, but if volume keeps rising from salt and alcohol together, pressure control becomes far more difficult. Clinical guidelines from the American Heart Association recommend limiting sodium to under 1,500 mg per day for those with hypertension. Avoiding salty snacks when drinking is a simple step that prevents sudden spikes in blood pressure and reduces long-term complications. The key takeaway. Pairing alcohol with salty foods quietly undermines amlodipine's effect, making blood pressure harder to control in seniors. Effect number four, poor sleep and nighttime blood pressure. Alcohol may help you fall asleep faster, but once you're asleep, it disrupts the body's natural rhythm. It reduces deep sleep, it causes more awakenings through the night, and it keeps the sympathetic nervous system active when it should be resting. Here's the surprising part. Blood pressure is supposed to dip by 10 to 20% during sleep. This nighttime dip is critical for protecting the heart, kidneys, and brain. But in older adults who drink, that dip often disappears. Doctors call this a non-dipping pattern and research shows it's strongly linked with higher risk of stroke, heart attack, and kidney disease. Alcohol also raises stress hormones during the night. That means blood pressure may stay high into the morning, even before coffee or breakfast. For patients taking amlodipine, this becomes a hidden struggle. The medicine is designed to provide steady control over 24 hours, but alcohol's disruption of sleep and pressure patterns can blunt its benefit, leaving morning readings higher than expected. The American Heart Association and the European Society of Cardiology both warn about alcohol's effect on sleep-related blood pressure, and they recommend avoiding alcohol in the evening, especially close to bedtime. Put simply, alcohol prevents the natural nighttime drop in blood pressure, and for seniors on amlodipine, that means greater cardiovascular strain while the body should be resting. Effect number five, interaction with blood pressure medication. Alcohol doesn't just raise blood pressure on its own. It also changes how the body handles medicines, including amlodipine. With calcium channel blockers like amlodipine, alcohol can worsen side effects. 
Patients often report more ankle swelling, dizziness, or flushing. With ACE inhibitors such as lisinopril, alcohol may intensify sudden drops in pressure, especially when standing. With ARBs like losartan, alcohol can increase vascular resistance through stress hormones, making the medicine less effective. The National Institutes of Health notes that alcohol also interferes with liver enzymes. These enzymes control how drugs are broken down. Too much alcohol can either raise drug levels and side effects, or lower drug levels, reducing effectiveness. Older adults are especially vulnerable. Many take multiple prescriptions, and alcohol adds another unpredictable variable. That's why blood pressure readings may swing from too low to too high, even when medication is taken correctly. Clinical guidelines from the American Heart Association emphasize this point. They advise limiting alcohol when taking antihypertensive medication, because even moderate drinking can destabilize treatment. Here's the lesson for seniors. Alcohol and amlodipine don't mix well. The interaction makes side effects worse and blood pressure control less predictable. Effect number six, rebound hypertension after withdrawal. When alcohol is consumed regularly, the body adapts. The nervous system slows down and hormone levels shift. But if drinking stops suddenly, that balance snaps back. The sympathetic nervous system becomes overactive. Adrenaline and noradrenaline surge and blood pressure rises sharply, a rebound effect. Clinical studies from the National Institutes of Health confirm it. Systolic and diastolic pressures can spike within hours of the last drink. For seniors with hypertension or heart disease, this sudden jump can be dangerous. It raises the risk of stroke, arrhythmias, and even heart attack. And here's what makes it tricky. This rebound effect isn't limited to heavy drinkers. Even older adults who drink moderately but regularly may feel it if they stop all at once. That's why the American Heart Association advises tapering gradually and always under medical guidance. A slow reduction allows the body's nervous system to reset safely, especially for patients already on amlodipine or other blood pressure medicines. What this means for seniors is clear. Alcohol's risk doesn't end when you drink. It lingers when you stop, making blood pressure harder to control. We've now covered six hidden effects of alcohol on seniors taking amlodipine. From hormone surges, to extra calories, salty snacks, poor sleep, medication interactions, and even rebound spikes after withdrawal. Each pathway adds stress to the cardiovascular system, and together they explain why alcohol makes blood pressure harder to control, even when medication is taken correctly. Here's the takeaway. Alcohol and amlodipine don't cancel each other out, but the combination creates risks that seniors should never overlook. If you choose to drink, keep it moderate. For older adults, that means no more than one standard drink per day, five ounces of wine, 12 ounces of beer, or one and a half ounces of spirits. Always drink with water to stay hydrated. Avoid pairing alcohol with salty snacks and never drink close to bedtime since it disrupts healthy nighttime blood pressure patterns. Most importantly, Monitor your blood pressure at home. Daily or weekly checks give you and your doctor the clearest picture of how alcohol affects your numbers. This video is for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice. Never change your medication or drinking habits without speaking to your doctor first. Now I'd like to hear from you. Have you noticed blood pressure changes after drinking alcohol while on amlodipine? Share your experience in the comments. Your story may help someone else. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. 
it helps more people find reliable health information. Subscribe to MedDose Explained for clear, science-based guides on medicines, side effects, and heart health. And don't stop here. Watch our next video on foods that raise blood pressure in seniors. It connects directly to today's topic and shows what to avoid at the dinner table.